We don't know much about the new Christopher Nolan movie, Oppenheimer, but apparently they used practical effects to create a nuclear explosion. I hope the cameraman's okay. <laughs> but I wanted to make a scene inspired by it, so I went out to the cold desert and filmed that scene you just saw. To recreate the nuclear explosion, we're not gonna risk our cameraman from getting sunburned, so we're just going to use Big Film's newest product, the Apocalypse Pack, where it has some nuclear explosions. It also has a bunch of other earth-shattering effects that you can use in your next big blockbuster film. So let's hop on over to After Effects and see how we can be like Chris Christopher Nolan, sort of. All right, we're in After Effects now, and I'm gonna throw the shot into After Effects. First things first, I hate this sky, so I'm gonna bring in the sky from a different take. So let's just freeze it when he's out of the frame, and then let's add a box feather mask by clicking up there, add it up there, and then we're gonna put it right above where there is no horizon. Then we're gonna feather it out. So let's fix the fact that he is uh, in front of the sky. So let's duplicate that layer, bring it above the sky layer, and then we're going to hit our rotor brush tool up here and then move in to the layer tab by double clicking. Uh, the brush is kind of big. So if you hit control or command, you can actually, and, and drag, you can actually make that bigger or smaller. Then I'm just gonna brush in, click and brush in, and it selects everything. Now, if it snagged on something I didn't want, I'd hit alt and just paint away the stuff that I don't want. So now let's play forward and see if it messes up. All right, looks like it's done and has it messed up. And if it messes up for you, all you have to do is just go to the part where it messes up and brush away or brush in the stuff that it messed up. Now, once it's all done, what you need to do is hit freeze. Okay, now the one that's it's freezed, all that means is that it's just not going to move around after you play with it. Okay, so now our little guy is in front of our sky. For this guy, I can actually kind of see this blue edge kind of hitting on him. So if you go over to your roto brush tools and hit decontaminate edge color, increase the radius just a tad, and now we have that blue edge is gone. So with and without, it's a little bit better. So if we feather it a little bit more and then reduce this contrast, we can actually have a little bit more feathered edge. And that just looks a little bit more natural to me. All right, so I'm actually going to pre-compose uh, the sky in the background. And we'll call this background. And then we're gonna color it something fun like blue. Now what we can do is bring in our explosion. So I'm gonna use the Big Films asset uh, Nuclear Explosion 6. And you can find this in the Apocalypse Pack. It's a little bit big, it's actually 4K, and this is a 1080, um, Footage, so I'm just gonna hit Control Alt F and that will scale to the frame. So now we're just going to place this just like that. And I'm also probably gonna scale it up a little bit. A little trick is if we bring the anchor point up, if we use the pan behind tool or the anchor point tool, you can click this and then bring it down to the bottom of this. And then if you scale up, you get a nice scaling from the actual base of the explosion, so it's a little bit easier when you're trying to rescale it and stuff like that. So, so I think the first thing I want to do before we even start is uh, add a camera lens blur to this nuclear explosion. So, uh, camera lens blur. We're just matching the blur to the blur that we have in frame. And if your shot doesn't have any blur, then you don't have to do that. Now, what I want to do is add a levels effect. Let's start messing with these colors, right? Let's start messing with the RGB and bring this down. Just start playing with these. Try to make it match as best as you can. Don't be afraid to blow out the highlights of these uh, explosions because that's how uh, explosions are. They're, they're really bright. Most times, nuclear explosions have little plumes at the bottom. So we actually have our own little thing called nuclear dust which is just the bottom of the explosion. So we can add that on top right here, scale it down. So it's like, let's animate the scale by hitting the S key here and then going down, scaling it down. And I might bring that a little bit closer, hit F9 and that will easy ease it. So it's, yeah, that, that feels a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these, so I'm gonna hit Control X or Command X and cut those effects. And I'm going to pre-compose both of these layers and call it Explosion, just like so. Then I'm going to paste those effects onto that pre-compose. So now both the, the effects are applied 
Oh, and because it was originally 4K, we're gonna have to divide this by two to get back to the blur that we had originally. Uh, let's add some more glows. I, it, Big Films comes with pre-made glows and it looks really nice, but we can add a little bit more glows to add to our scene. So let's duplicate our explosion layer and let's delete our camera lens blur and let's add a fast box blur and we'll uh, up that blur a little bit and we'll add the screen effect and that adds just that extra little glow to your shot and you can also hit T for opacity uh, and bring that down and kind of dial it in as much as you want. So now I want to add a little punch at the beginning of this because if it exploded, I want it to like be really bright and um, percussive, right? So we're gonna add a solid by hitting Control Y or Command Y and we're gonna make it a pure black solid and we're gonna rename this Lens Flare and we're gonna put that above everything. Then we're gonna add the Lens Flare effect which comes with um, after Effects. It's the worst lens, <laughs> it's the worst lens effects you have, but you know, it's fine. We'll go to 105 prime, it's the best looking one in my opinion. And we're going to set this mode to add. And we're gonna put that right there. Now it looks a little bit fake, so we're gonna add a fast box blur over it and blur that up. And we're also going to add hue and saturation effect and mess with the hue until it becomes like a warm color. We're going to adjust the brightness. So at the very beginning here, we're going to have it be pretty bright and right in the center of the effect. And then we're going to lower the brightness like so. And if you hit U on your keyboard, that will actually bring up any keyframes that you need. I actually want this to be a little less bright at first. And then it like kind of explodes up. So it's like, boom. And then it slowly fades away. I also will probably lower the opacity. So if I hit T for opacity and lower the opacity down as it goes. So to add something a little bit extra to this, I'm going to add a dust wave to camera effect, which also comes in the apocalypse pack. And you can see it's just dust coming through camera. And we shot this out in the desert. So, I mean, there's dust in the desert for sure. So I think this would happen. So let's add it below our rotor person and above our explosion. Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good. Now, again, I think I just want to match these colors. So add a levels effect, just bringing these handles down. Yeah, that's looking, the difference is palpable. Look at that. And also I think I'm going to lower its opacity by hitting T and lowering it down a little bit. Now, the one thing that I want to add is the fact that if the dust is like blowing towards camera and we have this person here, the dust will start rising to be in front of him so we're going to duplicate this layer put it above him and then we're going to bring this down in the frame and i'm going to do this where i'm going to just lower it in the frame whenever the smoke puff comes up it starts to rise behind him as well now let's add those little things that make this pop, right? Now we can all, we can add even like a lens flare from our, our prism pack, which is just a, some beautiful lens artifacts you can add. And if we add it on top, let's scale it down 50% and let's add, the, no, let's screen. Let's hit screen on top. And if I add something like VC Color Vibrance, which is a free plugin that you can download, make it a little orange here and let's bring it over to the end of this clip. So it's like, and it, it just adds this nice little pretty thing. It might be a little bit too bright. So I'm just gonna bring that opacity down. Something like that can add a lot to your scene. I'm also going to maybe add some lens dirt. Uh, you can find lens dirt online for free. If you just type in free lens dirt pack or whatever, and you can find some. And I'll just use this one and hit screen and kind of just place it where I want it to be. And I'm gonna color it using tint. I'm gonna tint it and then make the white color orange. And now it's almost like the the dirt on the lens has is being brightened up because of the explosion. So we're going to animate its opacity. So 
It's going to be a little bit bright here. And then whenever it percusses the lens flare, we're going to add. So it's like, and then as it goes down, we're going to lower it. So it's like, it's just those little extra things. Now let's add some vignetting. I'll hit control Y or command Y, add a black solid, go on over to your ellipse tool, double click on the ellipse tool to add a one filling your frame, hit subtract, hit F for feather and go to 500 pixels um, and then lower its opacity to something like 15 or 19. One thing we can do is take all of these effects and pre-compose them and we'll call it explosion comp and we're going to animate its position so before we do that let's scale it up uh, 101 and i'm going to animate the explosion so animate the position by hitting p and going to the position i'm going to play with my little uh my arrow keys and sort of just move this around in jagged ways so it just adds this nice little thing and just have a lot of them and then slowly make the keyframes a little bit bigger as they go. So it feels a little bit like just like that. And we'll probably have to scale up a little bit more to fill all of that, but there we go. So it's almost like the tripod or the camera got so um, shaken when the explosion happened. And then you can also add a little bit of motion blur by hitting the little motion blur tab. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, then let's add some glow. So let's add uh, an adjustment layer by hitting Control Alt Y, adding glow. We're gonna decrease the threshold to be pretty much only the explosion. Up the radius, lower its intensity. Let's bring that up, just like that, just to make it feel a little bit better. Then let's add some noise. And I'm gonna use some noise from our grain pack, our 16 millimeter grain pack from Oregon, our Oregon pack. And if I just bring that in and hit overlay, that will overlay some beautiful grain. And it's in 4K again, so I'm going to scale that down to 50%. And then I'm going to bring that down slightly, the opacity. And then there you go. You have a beautiful little explosion shot. So that's basically it. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe, comment, and like, and do all those things that people tell you to do, uh, but actually do them. Please check back for more tutorials.